researchers are making some critical breakthroughs in the fight against HIV AIDS. One of those researchers is Juan Perea. He's the principal investigator at the Perea Laboratory at the University of Delaware. He's also joining us right now. Well, you made news recently. Your team found a sort of break that prevents HIV from infecting someone. Can you explain what you found? Yes, so um, what we work is um, trying to study from physical and chemical principles how the virus uh, of, uh, kind of the virus uh, forms in, and, and interacts with, uh, with, the with the cellular environment. So what we found is a series of motions that are completely uh, necessary for the virus maturation, which is a, a process that happens inside of, of, of the serum of an infected person. So we found that if you uh, stop or break those, those motions, you're able to prevent infection, at least in cells. So spin that out for us uh, in the future, the significance of something like this. So this opens the opportunity to develop new drugs based on our, our discovery. As I said before, this is done uh, based on basic science, physics, and chemistry. So everything that we learn can then be extended to novel therapeutics that target the, the virus in this very particular way, which is um, attenuating the motions of certain uh, regions of, of the of the proteins that are part of the virus. Juan, let's talk a little bit about uh, the trends you're seeing in terms of global HIV infections. I mean, I remember back in the days, uh, Rock Hudson, you know, the 80s, where it was basically a death sentence. And then, you know, you see somebody like Magic Johnson and the story we just had, a guy saying, you know, you can still live a long life. Are we making progress? I mean, what, what type of steps are you seeing out there? So what we've seen is the, the drug, uh, the, sorry, the virus um, has switched from, a, as you say, a death sentence to a chronic disease. What this means is a person who has the virus has to live taking medication for the rest of their lives. Obviously, this has an economic impact and also has some costs associated with the quality of life with a person who has the disease. So I think uh, in, in that regard, the therapeutics are pretty, pretty powerful nowadays. Uh, there's still a need for for uh, like a definitive eradication of the virus from, from humanity. And I mean, there are certainly certain populations who don't have access to the therapeutics. And that's uh, those in, in, in those populations, particularly if you look at uh, sub-Saharan countries, um, HIV is still a death sentence. So, so I mean, uh, there are global trends that um, certainly have allowed many individuals to live with HIV for several years, but uh, there is still a major issue for people who have the disease. That's a really good point, Juan, the disparity that you see in different regions of the world. Uh, we started by talking about China. Let's go back there uh, to close things. Uh, infection rates remaining low in China. How can China continue on that trend? So I'm from, I mean, I'm not an epidemiologist, but uh, certainly a lot of what China has done from my perspective is uh, a lot of public policy and a lot of a health policy that has allowed to get the whole country to move um, against HIV and reduce the rates of infection and, and things like that. Um, I don't feel like I'm in a position to make an opinion on what the country is, uh, I mean, where they should go next uh, in terms of uh, HIV policy. But certainly, that, I mean, um, there is a, it's, a, it's a clear example of success in terms of the reduction, as you mentioned before, based on statistics, how the virus has been uh, reduced. Juan Perea joining us from the U.S. state of Delaware. Thanks so much for your analysis and observations. Appreciate it.